Welcome back to Channel C1. I'm Michael Jamal. And this is Cam King. And today we're watching the Echo trailer for Disney Echo, Plus. Echo, Marvel, Echo. Marvel, Disney Plus Echo from Hawkeye. That's all I really know about her. I know she has a connection with Daredevil and Kingpin. And she shot Kingpin in the face, I'm pretty sure. Boom, boom, pow, 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 boom. But we know that he probably didn't die because they didn't show the body. So yeah, duh, he alive. And um, she is deaf, hearing impaired. Yeah, yes, she's deaf. Yeah, I remember she's mm -hmm. deaf or whatever. She's echolocation yep. to. Well, no, she used her vision. Yeah, that I just said the dumbest thing I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as it came out, notice but I didn't it, finish my sentence. I it, was like, wait, what? Did it I just is say? interesting that her name is Echo, Echo. though, because you would think she's deaf, and that's why I was like, wait, yeah, what? This don't make no it, goddamn sense. Right? Yeah, she she's not a dolphin, but Daredevil probably uses echolocation. As soon as no, as soon as I said, I was in my head. I said, nah, you fucking idiot. That's Daredevil. Right. So she uses her vision. All she also in real life, the actual actress is deaf. Uh, it's deaf and has the prosthetic leg, and they incorporated that into the character as well. Ah. So, oh, I, I see the little thumbnail here. Yeah. Looks like there's a little girl flashback scene. Uh, but yes, so we're a little bit late to the trailer. None of us have watched it, however. I heard it might be kind of good. Yeah, I heard some good things. My expectations for this right now, even though we are currently enjoying Loki and it's just as good as season one, my expectations are for Marvel TV, MCU, Disney Plus shows are very low. They have, uh, it's been a roller coaster, I would say. In regards to the Disney Plus shows, I wouldn't say they struggled out of the gate because I thought Wanda with Vision was excellent. Solid. And there's just, you know, and then the and sixth then, episode okay. format, which. I think they're about to go away from has been and now that they're bringing showrunners too. Yeah, it's been a hindrance. Well, like WandaVision was pretty solid. Yeah. Um, I remember each even though I didn't start watching it until like the fourth or fifth episode, but I remember like every week people were like, yo, what's going on? Right. You yeah, know, it, it was, was a mystery. Just like the Loki shows. Yeah. Seasons. Um Falcon and the Winter Soldier was all right. As time goes on and we have worse shows, it puts it kind of brings Falcon and the Winter Soldier down a little bit. Cause I was hoping that would be the weakest show. Right. I see. What you're and it would be like, oh, you know, that's just like a you know, it was good. It just right. wasn't as good as the other ones. Yeah. And then like we had Loki, it was good. But then, and then Moon Knight was good, but is there's just- And then Naki Sa could because there's a, it's like, okay, they're good. But then when you watch stuff like House of the Dragon, uh, Last of Us and Andor, you see there's a separation. There's a little, there's something that they're missing that you're like, oh. Yeah. That, it, Cause it's something that you don't necessarily notice until you watch those shows. And you're like, oh, there is a difference. There's a difference in the, the cinematography the shooting on location versus using a um, green screen and whatnot and just overall the dialogue and no wasted words yes, yes, yes. and everything sounding more natural you could just see the difference and you know they had what's his name bob chapek was running everything and you could tell he was trying to just get a whole bunch of stuff on disney plus whereas bob Iger, bob Iger might you know he's already going reeling back it to back. reeling yeah, it said, back uh, we got to take a pause and i think it kind of benefits them with the strike and everything yeah a lot of them to take, take a little take break a force a little take a break so we shall see yeah. we shall see let's um let's see what uh marvel studios echoes like yeah please. Yep, he's already there. <laughs> I oh. see everything that you Rude ass live screen vendor. Creepy predator. Predator. Oh, no, you'll oh, beat the shit out of him. Yep. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Wow. I like how they're echoing his sound. Oh. Don't be afraid. She's like, cool, thanks. It made me fuck up, fuck up my white suit. Okay. The way whoever put this trailer together, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. You have so much pain in you. 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 Oh yeah, this is gritty. So much rage. That you can't contain it. No bad deed. Okay. I think she uh, has Native American heritage, so yeah. that's where some of that's coming in. Oh, yeah, this is. Oh, that was Daredevil that just popped through. Oh, wow. 
Oh, oh this is the scene that they probably were referencing. Oh, yes. oh no, no. And Hawkeye, maybe. Yeah. So. Who's the monster? Dang, he's about to shoot oh. you again. <laughs> Did they say January 10th? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they put that trailer together nice. Yeah. I can't nah. deny the trailers got me, you know, excited. They January cut it very 10th. nice. Yeah. And it was uh, it almost like, okay, they gave you a little bit of story, but it almost felt like a teaser in a way. There's like, you know, um, shorter clips and whatnot, but. Yeah, it, de it definitely did its job as a trailer. And it's rated TVMA. Yeah, so there's some potential there for it to be a little bit more, you know, mature. You still got to execute, but right now it looks good. It, it, it is got me more interested than the majority of the trailers have for these Marvel yeah. TV shows. I will say, you know, the Secret Invasion trailer was pretty decent as well. But, so, but you could kind of looking back, kind of see it, yeah, retroactively some of the flaw. Like, like you could see where. I feel like I don't know how many episodes this is. Regardless, I feel like if it, if the dialogue, because I think Secret Invasion struggle mainly from, to in my opinion, dialogue and the finale. If the finale was a little bit stronger, I feel like it could have at least leveled mm. out and been. You know, okay. So it's only five episodes. episodes. And it's going to release all of its episodes at once. Okay, so that'd be interesting. It'll feel like, feel like a long movie. So maybe that might benefit. Yeah. Okay, January 10th, all at once. Uh, I feel like, you know, Fisk, he is a powerful... His character, the actor and the character are just so powerful in their presence on screen. If he's in the show as much as he is in this trailer that's gonna help it's the show just, a lot it's, it's just like putting um when you when you put robert downey jr right somewhere. it's and like he, whatever he's in it's always been good just and him. i felt like the, in secret invasion olivia coma scenes were always amazing just because the way she delivered all of her lines her presence so oh yeah and i don't think the actors for echo is pretty good too it just depends on you know it's, you know it's gonna make it more interesting the fact that she doesn't speak. You have to show. Yes. You have to show things more vividly, and She's I think have to act that lends eyes. itself to a better story. Anyways, <laughs> half the show is just them going. Right. Sign language, and we gotta sit here like what? <laughs> what? What? And then they they put I think they put subtitles some in um, Hawkeye too, but yeah, you the, just show. Would. But show the scenes with I'm because I'm sure they're gonna have some of the scenes where they show how she's experiencing things and how she's taking everything in and how she's reacting. I like those scenes. Yeah, from her can, perspective when she yeah, can't hear anything and stuff. It, so, yeah. And things get real quiet and whatnot. So it looks it looks good. I can't deny it. That was cra that was a crazy opening scene to start with though. That, was, that set the tone. Yeah. It set the tone. And with the blood, you know, you never usually usually see that much blood on Disney Plus, but now they since they have that parental big uh yeah. block or whatever filter where you have to put in a code they can do stuff like that so yeah i mean it I like, looks good to me i like this comment this went from being the most who asked like who asked for this it's like you can't to looking like a genuinely interesting and exciting show yeah and it the thing is okay it def this trailer is definitely benefiting for the from the fist cameo um but it don't feel like he's just going to be a cameo. Like the way he was in Hawkeye, he was just there tacked on at the yeah. end. Yes. And he was he was barely even the main antagonist. So and I feel like they tried to do it to make him a surprise. But, but they it, just, it was at the comp like they, they had to the compromise show, the story. They just teased them a little more during the story. Yeah. And it would have been a better landing with that. Yeah, and they could have built up some of the, some of the things to have it pay off a little bit better at the end. Cause the only show that's done that well where they introduced kind of like a character was loki oh with, with he, um he he Remains. He but they also they hinted at him so much like so the, much yes in the reveal well, was, he yeah. was a part of yeah the story whereas even though he was like he was like the um fisk was like the final boss in yeah Hawkeye. it's exactly. like oh you just walked and, into the boss's room and just and they just they tried to um show his strength via via, via his physicality Rather, when his real strength is his um, his brain, like in his power with via money and all this kind of stuff, his political influence and uh, his emotion, like his passion for what he's doing, that's where his real strength is. 
and they didn't really show that in Hawkeye. And then with like Kang, he wasn't there, but his influence because of the TVA, Kang is really the TVA, so he really was there the it's whole like his time. His culture, was and there, he's yeah. kind of you know communicates via Miss Minutes a little bit too. So that show benefited in that aspect, I think. But yeah, yeah, fair. Thanos and Gamora vibes. That I feel like that's a decent um, yeah. comparison because she's trying to be like, I'm not like you. I'm not evil like you. Yada yada Someone yada. Called it the Andor of Marvel. I don't know who does. Uh, who that's, knows? No, we're who not knows? gonna do that. But, we're not gonna put. That's unfair to the show because Andor is amazing. Yes, and it had 12 episodes. So also, working. someone said that about Ticket of Rage, and I feel like before it came out. Yeah, and it I think it. we may have even. I, I well, I compared it. To, like we didn't say, but, but we like we mentioned I it. Did, might be. I it did could be. mention it while we were watching it. Yeah. But then I was like, okay, but Andor's a little bit like even when I said I was like Andor's yeah, a little still, bit better. Yeah. But it, I was like, it might serve that same role. role. Like, but it does look. Regardless, I know like you know, for any I think any of the shows that come after this, or at least start filming or start writing after this, like because they're redoing Daredevil. Are gonna be a little bit because I know Agatha has already started and almost finished, and I don't think they're redoing it, so we don't know it necessarily. But anything that starts after this is gonna be a little bit different. This and Agatha, I think, are gonna be the last shows of the first phase of Marvel shows, mm-hmm. but they might end it on a you know a high note. A lot of blood. A lot of blood. I hope they... Um, the only thing I question about with flashback scenes, especially, like, it looks like they might be doing flashback scenes with, like... That's their girl? I believe so, yeah. Flashback scenes with, like, her Native American heritage is how they intertwine them. Because sometimes people try to do the flashback scenes all at the Book beginning. Book Right, and then they do they and Book of Boba Fett. It seemed like they did it at the beginning of every episode, and it didn't. It just didn't mesh well. It was kind of not every awkward. flashback fit necessarily necessary either in Boba Fett. So yeah. Like, yeah. And there was one scene where it's like we already know that your um your armor isn't over here, and they're going to look in the Sarlacc pit for his armor, and it was like that scene was so annoying to watch, but. Yeah, should be interesting. Should be interesting. So they they were smart to start with Fist. It's like I know what they're doing, but it's working. So right, right, right. <laughs> yes. But yeah, catch us on the flip side. Yes. Mm-hmm.